We would call this in the Johnson household a Blackberry moment, um, which comes from something that happened a long time ago, folks, and when I was just a kid. When I was a nine-year-old kid playing Little League baseball, and I'm, I'm the shortstop on this team, and Guy on the other team hit a ground rule double, ball that bounces over the fence, gets two bases, and scored a couple of runs. And so before the, before the game could resume, we had to locate our left fielder and our center fielder because they had jumped over the fence to go get the ball. Um, and we went out there, and we could see the ball. But the left fielder and the center fielder were about 10 feet away in the middle of this game eating blackberries. <laughs> Which is something we found amusing at the time. But then you get a little older and you reflect on things that happen. And it became a modern day parable for me. Because I said, sometimes you've got to be able to step away from the game and appreciate the Blackberry moments. You know, mom and dad had said, hey, this is a big game. You know, everything, focus on this big game. Got to win this nine and 10 year old. You got to win. And here are these two kids who said, man, but Blackberries. <laughs> Heck with a game. Blackberries. And so that's what we try to do in our family, is spread Blackberry moments and enjoy those Blackberry moments, those unscripted moments that make your life unpredictable and make it extraordinary. And so that's the term we use anytime really anybody has a good day and something happens that just brightens your day. That's what, that's what Cheryl Ann's referring to 